hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about unfortunate love was how rishi and lakshmi finally leaves the obre house malishka cried nilam also cried because rishi chose lakshmi over nilam and over malishka so let's continue from there Lakshmi and Rishi wondered where they would stay after they left the house. So Lakshmi asked Rishi to talk to a broker. Rishi says, I know about a broker called Shandar. And Rishi calls Shandar. Shandar tells Rishi that he knows of a hotel and it has a good earning. But Rishi says that he wants to buy a flat and not a big hotel. Shandar asks if Rishi is joking that he wants to buy just a small flat. Rishi says he is not joking and he badly wants a flat. And Shandar says okay and says that he has a flat at hand but it is very expensive. Then Rishi asks him to send him the address and they end the call. Lakshmi asks what Shandar said and Rishi says that he is sending the address. Rishi and Lakshmi hear people saying I love you and Rishi tells Lakshmi that he told her that he loves her but Lakshmi did not tell him that she loves him. Rishi says I know you love me but you lie that you don't love me and he asks her to say it with her mouth. Rishi asks Lakshmi to say I love you Rishi and I will be with you all my life else my heartbeat will stop and Lakshmi stops him and asks him not to say that his heartbeat will stop again. Rano says Shalu and Bani happy and dancing and she asks them what the problem is. Shalu says that Rishi and Malishka's marriage haven't happened and says that Rishi proposed to Lakshmi and said I love you to Lakshmi in front of everyone. Rano gets happy and asks if Rishi and Lakshmi finally got married. Bani says my sister refused and says that she doesn't love Rishi so they did not get married. Rano says a big drama must have happened after Rishi confessed his love to Lakshmi in front of everyone. Shalu says yes and says that big drama have happened and brother-in-law has left the house due to Nilam's auntie's condition. Rano is happy and Shalu says we are happy that brother-in-law said I love you to Lakshmi but we are sad that brother-in-law left his mom. Rano asks that what did the other people said after all the drama. Shalu says everyone tried to stop Nilam auntie and they asked her to accept Lakshmi but she did not listen. Rano asks where are they now. Shalu and Bani says that they must be coming here. Rano says Rishi is rich and he would go anywhere. So she then thinks that Rishi will give her money if she let Rishi stay here in his difficult time and Rano get happy. Rano asks Shalu and Bani to let Rishi and Lakshmi come and she asks them to clean the house for their arrival. Shalu calls Rishi on the phone but he wasn't picking so Shalu called Lakshmi and she asks that when are they coming. Lakshmi says we are not coming there and says we will let you know where we are going later and they end the call. Rishi asks Lakshmi to say it. Lakshmi says it was Shalu's call and she was asking. Rishi interrupts and says I did not ask you for that and says I asked you to tell me if you love me and if you don't answer me then I will make a house on that tree and make you live there. Lakshmi ignored the question and says we need the house and she asks Rishi to make a home on the tree if he can. Rishi says to Lakshmi that I can climb the tree but how will you climb on it and I cannot stay there alone. Lakshmi says enough of jokes and she asks Rishi to see if the broker message has come for the flat they wanted to buy. Rishi says no and says we should wait for some time. Maybe the broker is working to make the house available for them. Kiran and Abe talks about Lakshmi snatching Rishi from Malishka. Abe says we should take care of Malishka because she is fragile. Kiran says Malishka will not do anything dangerous to herself because she has promised. Abe says Malishka said that she will kill Lakshmi and if this happens then Malishka will go to jail and everything will be over. Abe says to Kiran that Nilam always supported Malishka but Grandma and Virendra never supported her. Kiran says that is why Lakshmi snatched Rishi away from their daughter. Kiran tells Abe that Malishka has done many mistakes and Malishka was involved with Vikrant but she saved her and Abe says he wants Malishka's happiness and he can do anything for her happiness. Virendra talks to Grandma and asks if Grandma can do anything. Grandma says if she orders Lakshmi and Rishi to stay here then Nilam will not spare her. She says Nilam is saying that Rishi is mad for Lakshmi and even Nilam herself is mad for Malishka. Grandma says we have to live life with the truth that the lamp and the light of the house which is Rishi and Lakshmi are gone now and Grandma get emotional. Rishi and Lakshmi are walking on the road and Rishi tells Lakshmi that he cannot walk and he is very hungry. Lakshmi says you used to run a lot on the treadmill but now you are tired. 
Rishi says there is AC in the house, but now they are on the road. Lakshmi says she has some money and they can buy something. Rishi says you are really Lakshmi and you even have money too. He says we can buy food in an hotel. Lakshmi says she doesn't have much money to buy hotel food. And Rishi says we would have Panipuri at the store then. Virendra says to Grandma that I don't know until when this house will be in darkness and I cannot do anything to bring Rishi and Lakshmi back. Grandma says Nilam has forced Rishi to take this decision and says Lakshmi never got love and respect here and even when she went away, she still got hatred. Virendra says to Grandma that Lakshmi has never done anything wrong and whatever Lakshmi did is good. Grandma says she is Lakshmi and she can never do anything wrong and Grandma asks Virendra to call Rishi and ask him where they are and she asks Virendra to also make arrangements for where Rishi and Lakshmi will stay and Virendra says okay. Rishi and Lakshmi comes to a Panipuri stall. Lakshmi asks Rishi to eat the Panipuri first. Rishi says we will eat it together. Lakshmi challenges Rishi to eat first. Rishi says we will eat together. The Panipuri guy asks Rishi not to fight with her because men cannot win from women. Rishi eats the Panipuri and he coughs while Lakshmi worries for him. Rishi asks the guy that what did you add in the Panipuri? The guy says it is very spicy. Lakshmi makes Rishi drink water. Rishi drinks water and asks the Panipuri seller to make Lakshmi eat first. Lakshmi eats it. Rishi also eats it and says now it is not spicy anymore. The Panipuri seller says you were saying that it is spicy a moment ago. Rishi says I said it to convince Lakshmi to eat and Rishi smiles while a song plays in the background. Lakshmi is happy and she prays for Rishi's happiness. The Panipuri seller's wife comes there and identifies Lakshmi. Lakshmi tells Rishi that they used to have Vada Pav at her store. The lady says this is our store too. Rishi gets the broker's message and he tells Lakshmi that they did not get the house and Lakshmi feels sad. The lady asks Rishi and Lakshmi that why do they need a home because they seem to be from a big house. Rishi says yes, we are from a big house but we need the house and the lady says that she would help them at the Obrey's house. So now asks Malishka to be happy. And she asks Malishka to show Rishi and Lakshmi that she is strong and nothing can break her. So now asks Malishka to shed fake tears for the world, but she should be happy within. Malishka says, My happiness is with Rishi, but now he has gone with Lakshmi. So now says, You have to get Rishi back, and for this, you need a calm mind. The lady brings Rishi and Lakshmi to an uncompleted building. Virendra calls Rishi and asks that where is he and he suggested that Rishi can take Lakshmi to their farm house and they can stay there. Virendra reminds Rishi that their farm house and the bungalows are free and they can stay in any of it. Rishi lied and says we are at one of our bungalow and Lakshmi liked it and she has no complaint. Meanwhile, they were in a house that is under construction. Grandma takes the phone and asks Rishi to return with Lakshmi and says they want the family to be a one happy family again and Rishi looks at Lakshmi and they both look on. After Rishi and Lakshmi left the house, Ayush get up from the bed saying that whatever happened is wrong and says the house is not looking like house without Rishi and Lakshmi there and he thinks that where did they go and what condition are they currently in. Ayush thinks to call and ask Shalu if they went to Rano's house. Shalu tells Bani that her sister did not tell her where she is with Rishi and she only said that they have gotten a house without telling them which house. Bani says Lakshmi refused to give us her house address because we will go there. Rishi thanks the Panipuri lady for giving them the uncompleted building to stay in and says it feels like heaven. The Panipuri lady tells Rishi and Lakshmi that the uncompleted building is a relative's house and says they were about to do the renovation but then they have to go to the village and they stayed at the village. So I bought this house but I couldn't repair and complete the building because I did not have enough money. Rishi says to the lady that this house is the best for now and Lakshmi also likes it. Lakshmi says yes, she likes it and says even though it is an uncompleted building but they will make it the home. Rishi says yes, Lakshmi and I will make the uncompleted building a home together and we would have Panipuri whenever we are hungry. The lady smiles and she leaves. Ayush calls Shalu. Shalu scolds him for not calling her earlier. Ayush asks if Rishi and Lakshmi are there. Shalu says they are not here and says Ayush should have gotten a house for them so that they know where they are. 
She tells him that her sister had called and said that she would tell her their address tomorrow and Ayush is relieved that Lakshmi will call tomorrow. Rishi tells Lakshmi that she is really Lakshmi and they got the house due to her knowing the Panipuri lady and says Chandar is useless and he couldn't get us a flat. Rishi says this house is good without AC, without chairs and other things and says it has free air and there is no door too so there is no worries to open and close the door and they can freely go out and come in without worrying about the door. Shalu asks Aish that how is Nilam auntie? Aish says Nilam auntie is sad. He says at least Rishi and Lakshmi got the house and will go to meet them tomorrow and he asks Shalu to call him whenever it is needed and he thanks her for supporting him. Shalu says same to you and Aish ends the call. Bani asks if Aish said I love you to Shalu but Shalu says she is still upset that she doesn't know her sister's house address and Bani says very soon, Rishi and Lakshmi will unite with the family again. Rishi says to Lakshmi that their new house is good and it doesn't matter if it is an uncompleted building. Lakshmi says you told father that we are at one of the family's bungalow but they are in an uncompleted building. Rishi says it doesn't matter where I am because what matters to me is you. Wherever you are, there is a heaven, there is heaven for me there and they look at each other and smiles. Nilam recalls Rishi's words that his life is Lakshmi and he would die every day if Lakshmi is not with him. Virendra tells Nilam that Rishi and Lakshmi got a place to stay and they are staying there. Nilam get up to go. Virendra asks, where are you going to? Nilam says, you have lost this right to ask me anything the moment you supported a stranger girl and your son and Virendra looks on. Rishi and Lakshmi clean the floor of the uncompleted building and Rishi started sneezing as he sweeps the floor. Lakshmi says, bless you. Rishi says, my life is blessed since when you came into my life. Lakshmi takes the broom from his hand and asks him to sit. Rishi ties Lakshmi's hair while a song plays in the background and says, now you will not have any problem to clean. Rishi thinks that Lakshmi is too good and she cares for me so much and she loves me too. But she says that she doesn't love me, which is not true. And he thinks that I don't know when Lakshmi would also realize that she loves me. Just then, Rishi sees some pipes kept in the building about to fall on Lakshmi as she is sweeping and Rishi stood up in time and saves Lakshmi by hugging her. Rishi asks Lakshmi if she is fine. Lakshmi says you saved me and Rishi says always. Lakshmi says I meant to say that you have already saved me so you can leave me now and Rishi smiles while Lakshmi also smiles. Abe asks so now if Malishka is calm now. So now says yes, Malishka is calm. Kiran says, I don't believe till now that Malishka couldn't become Nilam's daughter-in-law. Nilam comes to Kiran and Abe and says, I never learned to lose and that is why I am Nilam Obroy. She says, Malishka is my daughter-in-law and she will be my daughter-in-law in the future too. At the uncompleted building, Lakshmi asks Rishi to keep the construction things outside. Rishi says, I am Rishi Obroy and I will not do this work. And Lakshmi says, okay, I will do it. Lakshmi is about to start taking the construction items out of the building but Rishi stops her and says that he was joking and he will do the work and Rishi goes to keep the things outside while Lakshmi cleans the inside and Lakshmi thinks that the place is clean now but where will she make Rishi sleep because there is no bed or couch in the building and Rishi cannot sleep on the floor because he has always slept on the bed all his life and Lakshmi wondered what to do. Nilam apologized to Abe and Kiran for everything that happened. Abe says if Malishka becomes your daughter-in-law, then you don't need to apologize. Kiran says Malishka cannot live without Rishi. Nilam says I couldn't accept Malishka and my dream, but now it has become my duty because Malishka is relying on me for her dream to be fulfilled and that dream will be fulfilled at any cost. Nilam asks that where is Malishka and says I will take Malishka with me right now. Kiran asks what are you saying? Nilam says my daughter-in-law would do a grab perish today and she would enter my house as my daughter-in-law. Nilam says Rishi and Lakshmi can hide anywhere they like but I will never let them get married because Rishi will marry Malishka only. Kiran thanks Nilam for saving Malishka and Nilam says Malishka is also my daughter too. Rishi says to Lakshmi that the sky is so big. Lakshmi says yes but she is afraid. Rishi asks that why should we be afraid when Rishi Obroy is with you? He asks if Lakshmi is afraid of thieves or ghosts. 
Lakshmi says, when you are with me, I am not afraid of thieves or ghosts and says she is afraid of mosquitoes because they come near someone's ear and buzz and then they bite the person and drink their blood. Lakshmi says to Rishi that my blood is sweet so the mosquito will drink more. Rishi asks, what are you saying that blood is sweet? He asks, if blood have flavors. He asks that where did Lakshmi hear it from? Lakshmi says, from my village. Rishi says, I knew it. And he asks that when will Lakshmi become a Mumbai girl? Rishi says to Lakshmi that even your boyfriend, referring to himself, is from Mumbai. Lakshmi looks at Rishi while a song plays in the background. Lakshmi says even the mosquitoes are from Mumbai and says she will go and bring something. Lakshmi leaves and Rishi shouted, Lakshmi, please don't leave me. And Rishi smiles and he folds his hand and he prays to God to never separate him from Lakshmi. Malishka looks at Rishi and her photo and says, why did you have to do this with me, Rishi? And she cried. Nilam comes there and asks Malishka not to cry. Malishka asks Nilam and promises her not to cry and become strong. Nilam says, I am with you. So much has happened with you. Then also I am with you. She asks her not to get weak and says, if we get tears, then our enemies will win. Nilam asks Malishka if she wants their enemies to win. And Malishka not no and says, I will not cry. Nilam says, you will stay with me in the Obrey mansion as my daughter-in-law and from today onward, you should call me mom. Malishka gets happy and says mom and Nilam asks Malishka to come and Nilam holds Malishka's hand and takes her out of the room. Rishi thank God for giving him the courage to speak up the truth and for showing him the right way else he would have married Malishka by now and he would have lost Lakshmi. He says he just wants Lakshmi to say I love you Rishi and then he will be the happiest man on earth. Lakshmi brings a jute cloth, that is sack, and tells Rishi that they should keep the sack on the window so that the mosquitoes don't come inside because the window space doesn't have any window fish to eat. Rishi says to Lakshmi that the sack has many holes in it and mosquitoes will still pass through it. Lakshmi asks Rishi to just tie the sack on the window and says the mosquito might not see space to enter. Rishi climbs on something to tie the sack as caught into the window. Rishi asks Lakshmi to come and hug him while he is up and Lakshmi asks that what does he mean? Rishi says he wants a rope to tie the sack and says you don't understand me well. Lakshmi says why don't you say it straight? Rishi says I asked you to say I love you to me but he did not say it and Lakshmi looks on. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, share it and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.